welcome back to the girly girl bookworm so i feel like this week is turning into a let's make a video every day kind of week just because i felt bad that i haven't been filming recently so i think that's what this week is turning into and today i wanted to have a like discussion about hyped books and how you feel about them because i was thinking the other day when i went if you watched my book haul you know that I bought some books and while I was there I was very close to buying some books that I had never heard of. I feel like lately because of booktube and like goodreads and everything I feel like I tend to pick up books because I've heard of them before. Like I've heard people say they were good, they're hyped up and there's nothing wrong with that I feel like but I feel like sometimes I just kind of miss the ability to walk into a store find a book and be like this looks interesting and buy it and bring it home and know nothing about it um i feel like ever since this like booktube came in and goodreads you see a book that you might want and you go right to goodreads and it's like what does other people think about this book and i kind of just miss the ability to just like scan the bookshelf and be like hmm this one has an interesting cover let's look at what it's about okay i'm gonna give it a shot i miss having the ability to just pick up a book and have no idea what I'm getting into and not know if people say it's good, not know if people say it's bad, and just read it and find out for myself. I kind of miss that. But on the other hand, I do love BookTube, and obviously because I'm on it, and I do love Goodreads, and you can find out what pe other people are loving because then you could find it and see if you love it yourself. It's a great way to get recommendations, especially if you have no idea what you want to read. You'll hear about it and decide to pick that up. That's how I started reading like crazy again last year. It's because I had started watching a lot of Elle's um, glitter gossip videos where she would do like talk about books and she would talk about Vampire Academy. She would talk about like the White Queen and the Maze Runner series and that's how I and Divergent and that's how I got into those series was through BookTube and that's how I started reading again. Um, so it does have its pros and it does have its cons, but I don't know, like, I miss it. Am I the only one that misses it? Like, what do you think? That's what I'd like to know. Do you like knowing hyped books or not? Especially because if you read a hyped book and you don't like it, then I feel like, because you know it's hyped, so you have higher expectations for it, and then it might let you down. That's another bad thing about hyped books. So, I don't know. I don't know if I like the idea of having overhyped books. I mean, not overhyped books. If I like hyped books, or if I would just rather go back to being able to buy what I want to buy. Because there's times when I'm like, oh, this book looks good, but I don't know what it's about, so I'm not going to spend my money on it. Which isn't how it used to be with me. So, what do you think? Did BookTube and Goodreads affect how you buy books, or are you still buying books based off of something else, or were you always into, like, reviews and things? What do you think? Let me know down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.